and we can all just get nice and intimate. Um, before that, Sir Richard Branson would like a few words with you, and as he's in Necker Island, we thought we'd download him. Well, hello, good morning, and thanks very much for coming. It was a long, long time ago, in 1970 to be precise, that we set up the first ever Virgin Company, and we called it the Virgin Mail Order Record Company. But well, we soon followed this with the first ever Virgin Record store. It was above a shoe shop, and it was just yards from where we are today. But well, we began with music at our hearts, and we've continued to embrace all genres, formats, and advances in technology to remain true to our musical heritage. And Virgin Digital is the next step on this journey. Well, we're all familiar with the massive changes in the world of recorded music. It's a world of ripping, streaming, burning, and downloading. A world of MP3s and little white boxes. Observing and admiring Apple's recent rise as a supplier of music to the public, we've always felt that a company with music at its core, rather than technology, could do so much better for true music fans. With our strong music heritage, Virgin has a huge advantage. And it's a fantastic platform for which to launch a digital service that will become the ultimate download destination. From Beethoven to the Beach Boys, from Block Party to Bowser. 1.2 million tracks from 15,000 labels, Virgin Digital is more than an extensive music library. It's a truly encyclopedic, interactive experience with a wealth of information, including influences, biographies, track listings, and artwork to satisfy the most passionate of music fans. And it's so user-friendly that even I could use it. Well, I'm going to hand over now to the team behind Virgin Digital to explain this service in far more detail. As you know, I would love to stay and tell you all about 128 megabyte dual pass audio codec systems, but talking about, so we'll leave it to the experts. Thank you. Well, goodbye everybody, and I just wanted to say, have a great day. Here comes the video. Over at Grant Park just a little while ago uh, when we uh, were uh, talking to her. Uh, we're going to do something that's never been done on television before. Uh, we're going to bring her in from Chicago into the Situation Room, right uh, in, into the CNN Election Center, excuse me, right now. I want you to watch what we're about to do because you've never seen anything like this on television. All right, a big round of applause. Uh, we did it. Uh, there she is, uh, Jessica Yellen. Uh, you, I know you're in Chicago, but we've uh, done something, a hologram. We beamed you in. We beamed you in here uh, into uh, the CNN Election Center. Uh, I want to talk to you as I would normally be talking to you if you were really face to face with me. I know you're a few th at least a thousand miles away, but it looks like you're right here. Tell us what's going on in Chicago right now. Well, there are massive crowds gathered outside here, as you just saw. Uh, 65,000 ticketed people are l going to be let in, but as many as a million are expected to be outside surrounding uh, this Grant Park location. And walking on the streets outside, Wolf, you can feel the intensity, the excitement, the anticipation for what they hope will be a truly historic night. He's their hometown boy here in Chicago, Barack Obama is, and so there's real passion for him in this town, Wolf. And where is he and his family? Where are they now? Where are they watching all of this? They might be watching us right now on their own uh, monitors, uh, wherever <laughs> they are. Uh, Barack Obama is at the Hyatt Hotel nearby where he's going to eventually be watching uh, election returns as well. He played basketball earlier in the day, which has become, you know, an election day tradition for him. Uh, and we're expecting him to go home at some point, change, uh, and then watch his election returns and, you know, turn up here eventually to make the much anticipated speech. Well, you know what I like about this hologram, and you're a hologram now, Jessica, uh, instead of having thousands of people behind you screaming and shouting, you know what, we could have a little bit more of an intimate conversation and our viewers can enjoy that as well. Uh, how are you excited are you, Jessica, that this is the, you're, you're the first one that we've beamed in to uh, the CNN Election Center? 
I know it's like I follow in the tradition of Princess Leia. Uh, it's it's something else. It's the first time it's been live on television, and uh, it's a remarkable setup. If I could tell you about it for a moment, uh, I'm inside a tent in Chicago that's been built. Engineers spent about three weeks doing it. There are 35 high definition cameras ringing me uh, in a ring around me. I'm in the center, and they shoot my body at different angles. And I'm told that transmits what looks like an entire body image back there to New York. Uh, these cameras, I'm told, talk to the cameras in New York. So they move, and they know when to move when the cameras in New York move. And uh, it looks a little different from a real person there, but it's pretty remarkable. It's still Jessica Yellen, uh, and you look like Jessica Yellen, and we know you are <laughs> Jessica Yellen. Let's get back to the important politics of this night, Dora. What are they looking for right now, the Obama campaign? Uh, what are they most interested in seeing in this, the early, uh, the early part of this uh, evening? Well, what they're going to be looking for, first of all, are those red states that we've been talking about. Uh, Virginia, Indiana, to see what the results look like. You've started talking about it, and especially how those er uh, late deciders broke. They have a very clear sense of how many people were already on board with them going into today. The big unknown is the people who made up their mind yesterday, today. If there's a high number of late deciders breaking for them in these red states, they feel that will be a very, very good night. Uh, and so they're feeling nervous. Everyone I'm talking to, very, very nervous right now, Wolf. I, I think a lot of people are nervous out there. All right, Jessica, uh, you're a terrific hologram. Thanks very much. Jessica Yellen is in Chicago. She's not here in New York with us at the CNN uh, Election Center. But you know what? It looked like she was right here. It's pretty amazing technology. Let's take a closer look and see what's going on right now. All the polls in Florida won't close until... 8 p.m. Uh, at the top of the hour, but a lot of the polls have already closed in Florida, and so they're giving us their numbers so far. Less than 1% of the precincts have reported. Senator McCain, uh, slightly ahead, this is very early, 54% to 46%, a difference of 6,575. But as I said, this is very...